Hello, today we are going to have a look at programming the throttles and the flaps and the spoilers and the various other switches using the Thrustmaster um, quadrant, throttle quadrant for the Airbus. Um, we're using the fly-by-wire A320, so this is a question I see that comes up quite often where people have installed the fly-by-wire and they've gone and bought the Thrustmaster throttle quadrant and they can't get it configured correctly. So I'm going to quickly go through what you need to do to make it work straight out of the box, basically. So we have installed, we're sat here in the fly-by-wire and we're cold and dark on the ground, which is fine. And what we need to do is press escape and go to control options. And you will see in control options, there's a heading across the top for each device that's plugged into your computer. So you might have to scroll sideways to get to the appropriate device. But if we look at the TCA QENG or Q engines one and two is the the part that does most of the work. The image stays the same if you've got the add-on parts for it that do things like the undercarriage levers and things like that. So don't worry about seeing the wrong picture. So what we need to do is make a custom profile. But it's important that we base our custom profile on the default profile. Now, if you are having problems with the throttle and you'll want to start again, what you need to do is, if you have already made another profile, you can see I've got several profiles here for different configurations in the simulator, you need to delete the one you already had for the A320, or, you know, for the fly-by-wire A320, and make a new one. And to do that, go to the default one. So you will notice when you look in Preset Manager, you can't delete or meddle with the default one. You can only duplicate it. Yeah? So we are going to, based on the default profile for the throttle quadrant, we are going to duplicate it and make a new one. And we can click in the box and we can give it a new name. And we're going to call this uh, Fly by Wire A320. Oops, A3. <laughs> 320 helps if you don't hold the shift key on. Fly by Wire A320. Okay, so that's duplicated the default profile, so we now have a brand new profile. And the reason we do this, the reason we base it off the default profile, is there is some secret source in that default profile for this throttle quadrant that makes the gear levers and the various other switches work correctly. And if you don't, if you go and then meddle with the configuration of those switches, they won't work anymore. So if you base it off of the default, you're off to a good start. So the first thing we need to do after making our new profile is go in the sensitivity settings for it. And you will see, in my case, I've got some funky graphs here, which we don't want. So we're going to change these. Again, if you typically straight out of the box, you'll get some really weird curved mappings. So you need to set sensitivity to zero, sensitivity to zero, dead zone to zero, and neutral to zero. I'm just going to try and get it in the middle. It's sometimes a little bit fiddly to get your mouse to, to put it in the middle. So these the, the joystick L axis X and joystick L axis Y are the two throttle levers. And they're the only two we need to worry about. Because the rest should just work straight out of the box. So we get both of those to zero, so we've got a straight line. And you can tr you can try moving the throttle levers through their travels, and you should see the dots move through their travel. Okay, so then we say done. The next thing we need to do is go and look in power management. And if we have a look in power management, uh, by default, when you look in the power management settings, so these are the settings for the, the highlighted controller, by default, it shows you only the assigned things. So if we open throttle and expose any further, you will see by default, it's been set with throttle two axis naught to 100 and throttle one axis naught to 100. That's wrong, we don't want that. So we right click on each one of those and we remove them. Okay, or sorry, left click. And then you can clear the current input and validate. And then left click on that one clear the current input and validate. So we've got no throttle set up anymore. Okay, so then we can search by name and we can say throttle and it will again, it will get rid of that filter to only assigned as soon as we search. It's something that Asobo improved in the simulator. So now we can see 
there's nothing actually configured against the different functions of the simulator. So what we need to set is the throttle one axis, which is this one here. So if we click in there, now don't wiggle the throttle to find it. You have to select the input. So don't use scanning, actually select it. So we want to say the L axis X. So there's L axis X and validate. So we've now got throttle one axis as L axis X. Now we want throttle two axis to be L axis Y. So select an input and L axis Y. And validate. So you end up with both of these on and they want to be reversed. Yeah? And apply and save. And then go back to the simulator and resume. Now if you try them now, you should find you can move the the throttles through their travel. So our next task is to calibrate the A320 so when you hit the detents or the notches on the throttle movement that they agree with what's happening in the cockpit when we look at it. Okay so let's go over and have a look. It's worth pointing out as well I have for the moment I'm going to leave the, the levers down on the throttle quadrant. You heard that clunk there. So I've locked them so that's as far back as I can pull it without lifting the levers. And we'll see how I've made that line up by having a look in the tablet. So what we do is we switch the tablet on in the aircraft. So you just click on it. Wait for it to boot up. And then we click on the cog. And we go to aircraft configuration. Oh, sorry, no, sim options, sorry, sim options, and then calibrate. The detents is at the bottom of the screen. So if we say calibrate, now we want, this is important, we need reverser on axis to be switched on, and you can see it is on on mine, and you need independent axis switched on. And now you can see now, independent means that throttle one and throttle two are different axes. Reverser on axis means that zero is somewhere in the middle of the travel, and then when we lift the levers we can go all the way back. So to get them to line up correctly what you need the easiest way to do this is lift the levers on the reverses and pull the throttles all the way back as far as they will go. Yeah. Then select reverse full and set it from the throttle on both sides. Yeah. And then move the throttle levers forwards until they're just before the levers drop. Okay. So you can see I've, I've set them and then you say reverse idle and you can set from the throttle on both sides and notice you have a dead band you want 0 0.05 so it will give it an amount of wiggle room around where the throttles are to know that it's at these various detents because you have to remember the throttle in an Airbus is not just an analog control it's actually a switch as well so we need to get it into these um, bounding boxes when we move it to particular places and it's a little bit fiddly because there's a reverse idle setting here which doesn't appear on the joystick so that's why I'm saying you need to move the throttle levers just before the levers drop on the reverses and set that to be reverse idle and then we can go to idle and we can move the joysticks up to the point where the levers have dropped yeah and then you can set the throttle on each side at that point. We can move it forwards again to the climb, which should be the, the next notch along on the detents on the throttle. Yeah, so you can see that lines up already for mine. And then you move them again to the next notch, and that's the flex one. And again, you can set the, the dead band around it to make sure that they, when you move the sticks in there, they actually get there. Obviously, if, you, if you've not set them before, you're going to be setting it from the throttle with it in the right place. And then finally, all the way forwards to toga power. And again, you set from throttle. So when you've done all of that and you save and apply, you can go back and you can look at your throttles. And we can now move our throttles through their range. And you can see as they hit each detent on the levers, they go to the correct place. And because we started on the default profile, you will also find things out like the, the gear switch is working. By default, straight out of the box, 
the the flaps and the speed brakes should be working so as we move them along their axes you can see they are moving in concert with the detents that exist in the Airbus um, levers. Okay so we've also got the starter switches they should work and they do. We've also got the the start switch down there we can see it just turning. We've also got the parking brake it should work and it does and we've got uh, where's the lever where's the switch for this it's further up here I think that's interesting I appear to have a bug here but we're not going to worry too much one of the levers isn't quite working anyway it gives you some idea that getting these levers working it can be fiddly but as long as you go and set the axes up correctly which I did earlier so if we just go and uh, go back over that again in control options you need to select the controller at the top. Make sure you start from the default profile and duplicate it and rename it when you duplicate it. And then make sure on power management that you choose throttle one axis and throttle two axis to be mapped to the levers. Now something that also is important is these or any of the throttle axes that are all actually available because there's lots of them if we go and look at all you can see there's all of these throttles. You may have another controller that has a throttle on it and for example I have got the the actual Airbus stick as well and it does have a throttle on it and out of the box it will be configured so if we went and looked in here you need to go and look on your other controllers and make sure they're not mapped to any of the throttle axes yeah and the easy way to do that is just to search by the input but again you can you can click on each device and just make sure that it's got nothing mapped on the throttles and if it has got anything just go and click on the axes clear it and validate it so I'm obviously I'm not going to do that because I've set mine correctly so yeah just make sure that no other devices are also inputs for the throttles otherwise it will cause mayhem okay so if we go and resume so that's it. That's how you get the throttles to work reliably and then they work the same as the real aircraft and you're off to the races with flying an Airbus and you can start having some fun. Okay, that's all for today and I'm going to stop recording there.